Greece says it has reached a deal for a bailout of more than 80 billion euros with Eurozone creditors after marathon negotiations that ended in the early hours of the morning Tuesday in Athens. But details remained hazy, especially on some contentious issues such as who would handle the sell-off of Greek state-owned assets and how quickly Greece must enact new austerity measures to get the money. The agreement reached among teams of negotiators follows on from European leaders' mandate earlier this summer to find a way to get Greece money. What can go wrong? The agreement still needs to be hammered out, and then it needs to be approved by Eurozone finance ministers, often the toughest venue in the Greek negotiations. Some finance ministers, including the powerful German finance minister, have expressed skepticism that a deal can be hammered out rapidly. Also unclear is whether the International Monetary Fund, which has been in the first two Greek bailouts, will participate in the third. The IMF has said repeatedly that it wants to see some of Greece's previous debt forgiven or restructured before it lends more. If the IMF isn't a full participant in the bailout, that will increase the bill for the other creditors, namely the Eurozone governments. What's next? Greece must first pass the measures through its own parliament. That sets the stage for discussion at a Eurozone finance minister's meeting, possibly later this week. If the deal is approved in that venue, then a race is on to disperse the money before a payment to the European Central Bank is due on August 20th.